I thought I would never come here again. Well, well, here we are again. Welcome back to the Buckeye State Well. Today is February the 5th of 2023. It's crazy shenanigans, and we're well fanning around Toledo area, which wouldn't be having that much trains on the NS Skyline. I bet you guys been hearing about the East Pine Steam Dewellment. Well, I ain't gonna get too technical about the dewellment, but here comes this eastbound with an NSGE Gevo, basically, and then an H2 Gevo, turn second, which is pretty darn cool, because I have not seen an H2 Gevo in a while, and that usually doesn't come around the east coast. That's usually in the Midwest. But anyway, I bet you guys been hearing about the East Pine Steam. My lord, it's bad. Like, bad, bad, bad. Like, I have no words. We wouldn't see that much trains today because, number one, all the trains will, will be rerouted. And also, it's being like these animals that's going by to the Toledo area and the Cleveland area, basically the whole Chicago line, they are basically being rerouted onto the CSX in New York, the whole state of New York, so that's on them, but I would say it's a pretty good deal because, number one, these high quality animals need to go, so that's probably the good idea why they're being on to be rerouted on CSX in New York, well anyway. 32N that derailed in East Pine Street. Chemical made fire in Torrance. It's all over in East Pine Street. The chemicals are everywhere, even in Ohio River. And I would say Amtrak 30 and 29, the Capital Limited, are suspended due to the East Pine Street derailment. But I would say, here comes a mid DPUs on this animal, so let's just get ready to get this DPU. I bet you guys can know this is a form power leading I-132. Yup, I bet you guys can tell this is I-132. Working around Wall Bridge, it's definitely just sitting there. I got some pretty good pictures of him just sitting. And all his lights just turn off, so I don't know if he's like backing up or getting ready to. But they're coming out of uh, Salem, Illinois to Detroit, Michigan. 
that is where their destination to. For some reason, they have to work at uh, Warwood Yard. It's been going up to Pemberville for some reason since September of 2022. And I guess ever since, it's been pretty cool because I don't usually see I-132 a lot. But ever since I've been seeing I-132 and I-131 on Wild Falls Story, but I don't go there as much because I like going to different spots around the Toledo area or wherever I decide to go. So that's where why I basically go don't go over there anymore. So that's why I'm just like debating on going different spots around like the Midwest of Ohio and Eastern of Ohio as well. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, I'm just lucky to be here at Northwood, Ohio. We would basically have a westbound on the Chicago line to UP at 3NS. This is probably 309, I'm going to have to guess. It's going towards Elkhart, if I'm going to be guessing. Well, there we go. There goes the 100th anniversary from Canadian National. It'll be kind of cool because I haven't seen any 100th anniversary in a while. And plus, it was like my only good train that was coming this area. Well, I was not like trying to get any good trains today besides of getting 100th anniversary. Well, this is 310 from Elkar, Indiana to East Binghamton, New York. So it's basically still got a little bit ways till it got to the destination. Got a lot of sand cars, I can tell. I thought it would be manifest, but it's not. It has a lot of sand cars and maybe a little bit of manifest. Either way, it's going all the way to New York. So let's get this much of the train. Well, I could say this. There's this um, GP cell phone with a um, gray and red as a paint scheme. I don't know what the whale it came out of, but it's in Walwood, so I may as well see this. And then there's a bunch of UP engines, a bunch of CSX, and a CSX in the Lake State. 
and that's a lot of good power on Woolwich. So, and there comes I-132 power that was we saw earlier sitting like south of no Norfolk Junction or Figures Junction. But here comes the UPs with a little bit of graffiti on the engine, but I don't really care for. But it's cool. It's Union Pacific. They're always in the Midwest. Well, a lot of their form, a lot of their engines are either coming towards the east coast or being towards Detroit or whatever being on 132 and I-131 and then yeah that's basically it but I hope you guys enjoy it thanks for watching I'll be seeing you in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells